What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So I have been really going after the real estate investment trust heavily. And on my M1 finance portfolio, I've been really going after the real estate investment trust. BC is one of them, obviously. But I got five healthcare real estate investment trusts or REITs to buy. And first of all, I want to thank you guys. We are 6,000 Dividend Warriors strong. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I try to pump out three to four videos a week. Got to smash that like button. And thank you. We are at 1,000 Twitter followers. So make sure you follow me on Twitter. I can give you a shout out on uh, Dividend Warrior Wednesday for you guys that are loyal subscribers and very active on my channel. And the thing is with these healthcare real estate investment trusts, the dip is still there. I mean, the market's a little fluctuating you know, iffy, up and down, fluctuating. It's not to where it was pre-pandemic. So I've been loading up on these guys. They're pretty good high yield dividend stocks too. They have significant dividend increases. So let's check these stocks out right now. And that first one is Universal Health Realty Income Trust. The dip is there. And I'm telling you, they were killing the S&P. They're at a 4.96% dividend yield. The year range was 52.25 to 75.61. It has taken a huge nosedive. And this is what makes these guys very attractive as a dividend stock. They're sitting at 56.40. And, you know, in my M1 finance dividend portfolio, I do want to be diversified with real estate investment trust. I'm going to show you what these guys are about first, because this is one of the first videos I've ever posted about these guys. So let's check this out. Universal Health Realty Income Trust is a real estate investment trust specializing in healthcare and human service related facilities. The trust commenced operations on December 4th, 1986. As of March 1st, 2021, the trust has 72 investments in, 70, in 20 states, including acute care hospitals, medical office buildings, rehabilitation hospitals, subacute care facilities, freestanding emergency departments, and child care centers. So these guys are well diversified. I'm just going to scroll real quick and here's how they look right now there's some medical office buildings they're heavily in the medical office buildings acute care hospitals behavioral health hospitals behavioral health is starting to get bigger unfortunately subacute hospitals ambulatory care rehabilitation hospital and child care centers so the thing that's interesting about these guys is that they're well diversified and here's their portfolio and their properties so they have 71% of their buildings are medical office buildings. They have child care centers, rehabilitation, behavioral is 5%, ambulatory care is 4 subacute is 2%, and acute care hospitals. These guys are well diversified. They actually, I would consider them somewhat big. They have 72 investments in 20 states. I have a feeling they're going to get bigger. Again, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advi advisor. This is for entertainment purposes. But my gosh, look at this. I mean... All around, I mean, these guys are big. I mean, they're, I would consider these guys big. And, you know, 72 investments, and I see them expanding. I see them getting bigger. And, you know, they've been around 86, you know, compared to a lot of these other real estate investment trusts. So I see these guys getting strong. I see them getting bigger. And I got to show you their dividend history. 2013, it's 62 cents, 63, 64, 65, 67, 68. It's at 70 cents right now and with a 4.92% dividend yield. Now, the PE ratio is 34.6. Remember, we look at FFO with Real Estate Investment Trust. Annual dividend is 280. So this one's down. It took a huge, huge nosedive. And this one's definitely on my radar. I haven't pulled the trigger on it, but I'm highly considering looking at this one. This is one that's hot. It's almost 5% with the dividend yield. These medical real estate investment trusts right now, the healthcare real estate investment trusts are hot. So this is why I wanted to post another video on these guys. Let's check out the next dividend stock. And that next dividend stock is LTC Properties. This is a monthly dividend stock that I own and I'm absolutely long on. It has a 7.06% dividend yield. The market cap is 1.27 billion US dollars. Its year range was 3160 to 44. 73. So there is a dip there and it really hasn't cut, recovered since the pandemic. But I'm going to show you a little bit about these guys, why these guys are a great monthly dividend stock and why I own these in my M1 finance dividend portfolio. Let's check it out. Since 1992, they've been investing in diverse, high quality portfolio of senior housing and healthcare properties. Our goal is to be 
a strategic capital partner aligning interests with creative capital solutions, ultimately generating shared success. So they have 102 assisted living that's the buildings, that's 57% of their portfolio, 73 skilled nursing facilities, and a total of 179 properties. So the thing that's very interesting is what they're really focused on. They have senior care centers, Brookdale Senior Living, that's a very big, um, I cannot tell you how many people in my hospital we discharge to these guys. Juniper uh, Communities, Genesis Healthcare, that's a big one. Traditional Senior Management, Fundamental, uh, CareSpring Healthcare. So these are really big, well-known um, rehab. You know, they are involved with skilled rehab. They're involved with assisted living. Uh, Anthem Memory Care Senior and Lifestyle Corporation, that's a well-known uh, company as well. So they know what they're doing. They're doing a great job. And I'm going to show you their dividend history. So over time, they have been increasing their dividend by a cent each month. So it's 17 cents, 18 cents, 19. Now, since the pandemic, you know, they really haven't improved, you know, their dividend, obviously, because, you know, everybody's still tight on money. I mean, this, you know, post pandemic and stuff, things are starting to open up, but these beds are getting full. So these guys are still doing very well and they're 7.06%. An annual dividend of 2.28%. I absolutely love these guys. I'm long in them, and I can't wait till I start focusing my M1 Finance fractional share portfolio in this section because it's going to get bigger, it's going to get stronger. And I have it, I have it like right next to Iron Mountain. I'll discuss Iron Mountain's dividend history probably at the end. It's not the one that I want to discuss, but I will discuss two dividend stocks at the end that are uh, very popular that I'm hopefully going to load up on. And uh, we'll, it's kind of a bonus feature at the end for you guys for being amazing subscribers. So this one right here, absolutely enjoyable. I, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to load up. And it's only $32.30. So the dip's right there. Let's check out the next dividend stock. That next one is Physicians Realty Trust. It's sitting at $18.18. .18. It has a 5.06% dividend yield. I have done numerous videos on them. I'm going to just describe these guys because a lot of you guys are new and signing up to this channel. It has a market cap of 3.95 billion US dollars and its year range was 1648 to 2013. But why do I own this one? What gets me excited? I'll show you. But here's what gets me excited about these guys. Look at how big they are. And they're only getting bigger and expanding. And you know, this is these are the type of buildings that they invest in. So here's a healthcare cancer institute. This is a building that they have that you know people pay rent for. This is uh, Topa Fort Worth. This is St. Vincent Cancer Center. These are, this appears to be an outpatient uh, building. Here's a medical center downtown. Here's a medical uh, building in the plaza. Here is another medical building. So it's all medical buildings, okay? These are very, this, is, this appears to be a possible hospital, St. Vincent. Uh, there is also St. Vincent Women's Center. Now look at this. Look at how big this is. Baylor and Scott White Charles Salmon's Cancer Center. So these are, unfortunately, cancer is on a rise because people are smoking, they're unhealthy, they're not doing better. And these are just some of the buildings that they have in their portfolio. But what excites me even more is their dividend history. It's at 23 cents. I expect this to get to 24 soon. The dividend yield is 5.06%. The annual dividend is... 92 cents it's very cheap it's less than 20 dollars and you know they look pretty big looking at the map and you know these are things if there's a pandemic if there is a recession you know these buildings are pretty much in you know people who pay rent for this they're they're going to be busy regardless because people are sick and people need health care so that's very important that's why i own this one that's why i'm long in it and I'm going to continue to buy this, especially since it's $18.18. So I have that in my M1 Finance portfolio. I absolutely love it. I have it in my, I call it the Super REIT section. So I absolutely love it. Let's check out the next one. Here's another one. The dip is there. It hasn't really jumped up to where it was uh, pre-pandemic. It's sitting at $19.72. I own this one, Medical Properties Trust. So I just want to go over this. First stock had the symbol UHT. Second stock had LTC, third one had DOC, and this one is MPW. This is Medical Properties Trust. 
I will go over this one. This one is huge. And I love this one. I, I can't wait to buy more dividend stocks and have my uh, dividends uh, from my fractional share dividend portfolio start buying stocks like this. It has a dividend yield of 5.68%. The volume is 5.61 million. They are big. And you'd be surprised at how big they are. The year range is 1713 to 2282. A lot of you guys that are new to this channel, I got to show you this one. These guys with their portfolio, they own hospitals in 32 U.S. states, six European countries, Australia, and South America. They're in nine countries, 47,000 licensed beds, 446 facilities, focused on general acute care hospitals, behavioral health facilities, inpatient rehabilitation hospitals, long-term acute care hospitals, freestanding ER facilities, and other. And I'm going to tell you, the ERs are pretty busy right now. I mean, it's it's pretty packed. I mean, people are getting sick. People are uh, coming in. It's starting to become flu season. And, you know, the bug's still around there. So, you know, people, again, are getting sicker. Amputations are higher, rise of diabetes. Unfortunately, mental health is off the chain. So these guys are well diversified, and they're focused on certain things that are in demand. And I hate to say this, behavioral health is in demand there's a lot of people with uh, psych issues that um, you know live at home that should not be at home. There's a lot of people that need help. And again, if you're going through a rough time, speak to someone. You know, I, I encourage you to really talk to someone. I mean, it's uh, you know, behavioral health's on the rise. There's a rise in suicides. It's uh, it's not good. It's it's really painful to even talk or discuss uh, with things going on. So. I need to show you its dividend history real quick. Look at this, 20 cents, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 cents. Dividend yield of 5.61%, annual dividend of $1.12. It's almost $20. It's $19.19. 19 28 cents. The annual dividend is not bad at all. And this one is a cheap dividend stock to buy real estate investment trust. Keep your eye on MPW. And let's jump to the last uh, medical real estate investment trust. I'll jump and then I'll discuss my two uh, real estate investment trusts that I'm really liking right now. And that one is Omega Healthcare Investors. It's sitting at $29.51. It has a 9.08% dividend yield, a PE ratio of 33.87. Remember PE, if it's low, that's when you need to be careful with, with uh, real estate investment trusts because there, there could be a reason why it's low and then you see a decreasing price. But my gosh, the dip is there right now. It was starting to catch up with the S&P, took a huge nosedive. Its, it's year range is 28.08 to 39.31. Hasn't been recovering very well. And this is what makes it very attractive and that dip is there. So let's jump to these guys, do a quick uh, introduction about them, and then I'll jump to uh, you know some of the other dividend stocks. Look at this. We have unrivaled knowledge of individual needs of long-term elder care trends in every region in the U.S. and U.K., and our scale enables us to focus on the majority of our capital towards continual improvements in our portfolio through the mutual benefit of our operators and our investors. Our reinvestment programs include property market analysis for a full 360 perspective of stakeholder needs for each facility. 949 facilities, 42 states, 65 operators. And this is the UK. Many operators have facilities in multiple states. I like that in the UK. And then let's just jump to Texas. Look at this. 117 facilities, 17 operators. Everything is big in Texas, of course. So these guys are busy. These guys are racking things up and almost a thousand facilities and they're only going to get bigger and i'm going to show you their dividend history which i absolutely love 61 62 63 64 65 66 all the way to 67 9.02 percent right now that dip is there i don't see it being a 9.2 percent uh dividend yield for long because of the dip but ooh, is that not attractive or what right now as a dividend stock and that's why I have it as a high percentage of my M1 finance dividend portfolio. How can you not say no to, to capitalizing on a dividend stock like this? I am long in this one, and I'm going to show you. Uh, I'll, you know what? I'll do three 
real estate investment trust that I absolutely love. Real quick, I'll do a dividend stock analysis on them. I was going to do two, but I'm doing three. I'm loading up on these ones too. Mountain. Here's one of them I really want to discuss that has been giving me really good dividend distributions on M1 Finance, and I can't wait to start buying more. I know there's a little bit of a percentage issue with that, but I can't wait to start adding it, adding more shares once I start uh, expanding this little pie chart with that. But I mean, Iron Mountain just bought me like, I think three or four shares. It just bought me VC, which I'll discuss real quick after this one. But I got to show you the dividend history with Iron Mountain. You want to talk about dividend increases, 48 cents, 55. You want to talk about dividend increases, 47 cents, 48 cents, 55, 58, 61 cents with a 5.7% dividend yield at annualized dividend of $2.44. How do you say no to symbol IRM? I'm going to jump to VC real quick. I have been loading up in these guys as of late. I change a percentage with VC properties on M1 Finance. I'm buying shares like crazy on there. And I can't wait for my dividends to start buying this more of uh, shares for this uh, real estate investment trust. It's 4.93%. The market cap is 2.40%. 20.40 billion US dollars. Its year range is 2213 through 3335. Slowly starting to pick up a little bit. Absolutely love this one. I'm going to show you its dividend history. So it's jumping up from 28 cents, 29 cents to 33 to 36 cents with a dividend yield of 4.88%. It's less than $30. How do you say no to that? That's I am loading up on this one. And I'm going to show you one that's kind of uh maybe an underdog real estate investment trust. I got to show you this one that I own. And the next one is Spirit Realty Capital. The symbol is SRC, has a dividend yield of 5.41%. Its year range is 29.40 to 52.29. So the dip, it's slowly catching up, but I have to show you its dividend history. It's like, whoa. It has significantly jumped up from 62 cents to 63 cents. It is catching right back up there. It's a 5.31% annual dividend is 255. It's sitting at $47.21. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Dividend Cultivator is my dividend investor in the week. If you look in my comment section, I have a little arrow that shows you for some things to check out. His is too much money. A lot of you guys that are followers on my youtube channel and on twitter absolutely love this one the ratings have done well you guys have won and uh you guys have voted and he's won in numerous polls so check that one out it's called too much money go ahead and click the link in the description below let me know what you think of these dividend stocks which real estate investment trust are you buying i'm absolutely buying the real estate sector right now because the dips there and you got to capitalize in certain situations and i am absolutely capitalizing on this i want passive income I want dividend increases. I want to raise. So, you know, my employer may not be giving it to me. I know they're trying to keep me around, blah, blah, blah. But I'm getting a raise this way. And guess what? I'm making money when I sleep and so are you guys. So make sure you smash that like button. I'm going to try to post a video tomorrow. And uh, thank you guys again for being amazing subscribers of this channel. You guys take care. Have a great Saturday and go Bucks.